Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy RL Knuckles here to give you my second ever playthrough of a mi short mini game, but it's part of it's a game that's actually one of my favorite series and that is Streets of Rage 4 and no no Dude, 20, 2020, 20, ah, 2020 has not been the best year due to this whole coronavirus thing. And there are great games out there, like Final Fantasy VII, which my GameStop is at, my uh, pre-order is at GameStop right now, which I need to look into that. I've, I've been, been meaning to check up on that, but yeah, that's a story for a different day. Same thing with my pre-order of Persona 5 Royal, so I haven't got a chance to play like the hottest games yet. Well, I, well Resident Evil 4, about, that's about it. But honestly, this... Low key. Now, granted, I don't know when this game is coming out because this game, Treasure Rage 4, was announced uh, July, uh, 2018. And we haven't heard it. For, like, I, they say this will be coming out in 2019, but now they came out in 2019. And I was like, yo, is this game ever, ever going to come out? Then, lo and behold, April gives us the uh, the release day. You know, bang, here we are. And, you know, this is actually one of my favorite games, one of my favorite games to look forward to this year. Like I said, I know there's Final Fantasy and all those other big games, but like this game right here, I was, I was ecstatic for it. I'm actually a late Streets of Rage 4, not Streets of 4, but Streets of Rage fan. And what I mean by that is that I remember playing the first Streets of Rage a long time ago with my cousins. It was part of a uh, that Sega 6 game pack when it was like Sonic, Revenge of Shinobi, I think Golden Axe, Streets of Rage. That's when I played it, and I had a lot of fun. Now, Streets of Rage 2... I didn't get to play all that much. I have I had more time playing Streets of Rage 1 and Streets of Rage 2. So I really couldn't say much about Streets of Rage 2 uh, as a kid. Now the third one, I didn't even know there was a third one out. Like so pretty much fast forward to 2007 when I figured when I found out that Streets of Rage 1 was on the virtual console. Now for some odd reason when I had the Wii, I didn't really you buy any virtual console games for some odd weird reason. So then I heard Rage, Streets of Rage 2 was come on the Wii, and for some reason I'm like, yo, I, I told my friend Jesse, who was in my um, Glock and Money 2 videos, I was like, yo, bro, buy this game. It's a lot of fun. By grant, me only playing a little bit of it, but I actually see more videos of it. Like I said, at the time, I saw more videos of it than me playing as a kid. So I told my friend Jesse, yo, buy this game. You will not regret it. And I came went over to his house, I played, I'm like, yes, and I had a lot of fun. Then, months later, um... I actually downloaded as an emulator, which I didn't know you could even do that. So I downloaded as an emulator, played a lot of it right then. And then near the Streets of Rage 3, I downloaded that. So basically, here's my thing. My tiers of Streets of Rage 2 is my favorite of the series. Then it's 1, then it's 3. With 3, it was just... It was still fun. Don't get me wrong. But I feel as though they kind of made the game too complex, you know. Adding, like... like granted, it's okay to make a game difficult, but it's like... I thought they made it too difficult where it's like, you know, oh, you can fall, there's traps. It was crazy, like, unnecessary, unnecessary things for a, for a beat-em-up side scroll game. And all of a sudden, it was almost like a platformer almost at times. We had to, like, jump over things, like, in uh, Stage 4, that freaking mini cart that comes up. Like, that was unnecessary. I don't know why they did that. Then there's game levels you had to, like, finish in a time limit. Like, I just feel like that's a little bit too stressful for a for, uh, 2D uh, beat-em-up side scroll. Like, I thought, nah. And the music wasn't all that great in it either. I mean, it was still good. It just lost its, its like, charm from two, one and two. Soundtracks were amazing. Three wasn't all that. It was, it was it was okay. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't great. It was good. It just wasn't great. And then Streets of Rage Remake. That's a that's Sega. That's that as Sega's. Yeah, that's right. It's still fun, but it really wasn't a Streets of Rage game if you follow my drift. So fast forward now, we have Streets of Rage 4, and like I said, I'm very excited to play this game. Me being as a fan, I'm probably going to get the physical edition as well, too. The limited edition, probably not, because it's, it's a little bit too much money, if, honestly. Like, it's, I can, like, if it's $100, okay, that's fine, but $129.99, I mean, you get some cool things, but, like, that's at least, like, maybe $100. Like, I'm mean, granted, it's their business, I can't really say anything about it, but, you know, but enough about that, let's get into this game, a Streets of Rage 4 playthrough. Now, I am probably going to do multiple playthroughs of this, because I do want to play this game with someone online and with, you know, four people due to coronavirus, can't really do locally four players. So, when this is all over, I'll be sure to do a four-player co-op playthrough with this game. Hopefully, that's the goal. 
play. So I'm very excited to play this game. So excited. Sorry, track is already lit. <laughs> I'm ready for two seconds. I love how the characters are very, definitely not comic book feel. You definitely see the age. Definitely you know, see the age of Axel right there with the beard and everything going on. Blaze looking back. Okay, so pretty much the trailer, I think the announcement trailer is the intro for this game. Okay. Oh, let me turn off my radio. Oh, man, it's fun here. Dang. Let's, let's, let's do this music right now. Let's listen. There. Now, right now, I'm gonna deal with the uh, regular music for now. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess you can set that up too. Like legacy mode, okay. X to jump, square to attack, triangle, special, back attack, okay. Star move. Okay, so yeah, just Legacy Mode, I guess it's back to its original roots. When it's a literally a three button game, pretty much. Now we'll go. Ooh, we'll do that. Just kind of come and go, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I'm already. Yeah, this music is lit right now. Alright. We'll do it on normal. <laughs> this difficulty isn't even remotely fair. Yeah, do it normal first. It actually looks pretty uh, fat. Like I said, Blaze looking thick. Sherry's new, Floyd's new. Guess uh, Adam's a secret character right now. Hmm. Always been a friend of Blaze, so I'm gonna pick Blaze. But I wish they, they would at least show the stats though. If I know um, Sherry's bit this skate, it's the skate's replacement. And I'm sad that Skate's not in this game because he was my favorite. He is my favorite character in Streets of Rage, but I think maybe due to the fact that this is like. 10 years after the third Shoots of Rage game. Story writes like, do we really want to see a grown man in rollerblades? I don't know, but yeah. So let's do this. Blaze field it. Well, Axel Stone. Cherry Hunter. I guess that's the mall talking. Floyd Raya. Bring it on. Yep, my stacks is dead. Until now. So yes, so Mr. Darks has children. As you don't know, Mr. Darks has been the main villain throughout the whole entire series. Young Vigilantes. I will... I don't know. I know Blaze and um, X are like 22, but I don't know if three, it's like, I guess in this, I don't know if they're supposed to be 30 or 40. I don't know. Said, they said young vigilantes. Did that? I don't be looking all young. <laughs> right. 
I wish we, I wish they would have like a better intro. All you said was, oh, the, the uh, Mr. X's twins kids are out there trying to make sure it's silly. Oh. Still plays a little bit the same. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did manage to. So you can still land the same way. It's dope. You can't even run in this one. You can run and you have better mobility in the third one. Love the music. I guess this first stage is like reminiscent of like uh, Street Stage, uh, stage one and two. I mean, Rage is first level and second's first level. They still move the same way. Oh. Oh, hell no. Ah, oh, these guys. Yo, pull up your dang pants, man. I can't say when guys don't feel like you pulling up your pants. It's annoying. You deserve to get your ass kicked now. Seriously, you're like Ninja Turtles or whatever. Look at the turtle. <laughs> Can you still throw people to save them? Damn. Yeah, the gameplay is literally like almost experimentally like identical to the last one. It's all of them. Oh, she my butt kicked already. really changed it was pretty good i mean not not changed to the fact where it's like completely new Oh my god, that's major boss. What, what, really? Wow. Oh. There's like no facial expression on this dude.
Okay, so. <laughs> Yo, go Super Saiyan, some Nagi Chi shit right there. Dumb and robots after the third one. <laughs> At least I can get hit by the other stuff. I don't know why this dude has his hands in his pockets. Dang it, I didn't see that there. Oh, get oh wait, I gotta move. Oh, not on the first level. <laughs> wow, there's an apple right there. That's that's the worst. You die and you're oh wait, there's that item right there. Bosses that have for enemies. It's so annoying. Ooh! That's dope. Oh, you hit the other guys too. <laughs> wow, so finally friendly fires home for the other guys. Yeah, friendly fires been on for shit to rage for years. I hate always hated that.
Super beaver. I wish I could run in this. That's what's really bothering me right now. I wish I could run. I mean, if I'm Cherry, yeah, I can just run. <laughs> yeah, that's a terrible ranking right there. <laughs> Embarrassing. Oh, okay, you can change players in the next stage. Cool, dope. I'm still gonna take you with Bob Blaze. Oh, snap, we are right. We in jail. Y'all fight. Oh, I definitely did a jump right there. Okay, help your boy out. I'm on your side, kind of. <laughs> oh, don't tell me. I can taste him. Oh, my God. 
it's cool to hear you regain your health after using your special. So I'm not talking much. I'm like so into the zone right now. about your shield. We can do about your shield. Yeah, we can do about your shield. Oh no, no, I probably never should have that check out. God, that's, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good to do that at all. I gotta get a freaking uh. Oh, 
Dude, he's like, he can freaking do an air dash. Dash attack just grab me with that freaking taser. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I think that means no. Wait, water? I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Okay, never mind. I can't see where these are from now. <laughs> oh, too early to do it. He still has the same laugh. He has to go now. That's more of a build to hit.
<laughs> not going so well. Wait, let me check the time. I'm not 30 minutes. I can stop after the next one. What are you a boss? You've always been a regular enemy. You've never been that tough. Okay, spy side, right, right there, right <clears> there. <throat> nope. <laughs> oh, I'm going. I'm still continuing this shit. I'm still continuing this combo. Mm. Oh, I know he wants some more. No, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. No. Stronger and they don't fit the air like super armor. Well, you can't do anything right there. She's a bitch. Yeah, no one wanna help you now. No one to help you now. <clears throat> oh wait. Oh, it's that dude. What's his name? Ash or whatever? From the from the third one? Easter egg. A little shorter stage. Oh, I got a B. I'll take that. Now, let me end the video right here. Just stay, stay in tune for the second part.